Let's talk about my 13 favorite books of 2022. So the first one is The Trader Queen by Daniel L. Jensen. This is the second book in the Bridge Kingdom series. I'm sure everyone heard about that series because it was very popular somewhere in 2022. And yeah, the second book I liked even more. It is a very strong protagonist. Yes, my English is very good. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I can't really tell you what this book is about because it is the second book. But I also really liked the first one, but the second one was just a little bit better. I was also doubting uh, to put second or third books in a series in here because I wouldn't be able to talk about it very much. But to be honest, this was better than the first book so that's why i decided to do it but anyway if you like fantasy and you like also a little bit a little bit of politics in your fantasy i would highly suggest you read uh, the bridge kingdom series then the second book i have is verity by colleen hoover this is a thriller with romance in it the reason why this book made my top 13 is because uh, i my boyfriend read it and uh, one of my best friends read it, which was really special to me because almost no one I know in real life reads books that I read uh, and they really enjoyed it, me as well. And to be honest, I did really think it was thrilling. This book is about a woman who gets asked to finish the series of another author because she had an accident. She moves into the house of the woman who is uh, who, had the, who had the accident because it would have been a far too long drive and she uh, just can get it done with in like two days and then leave. But strange things start happening and there's also the husband of the woman who got in the accident. So then the next book I have is Delilah Green Doesn't Care by Ashley Herring Blake. I gushed so much about this book already. It is a sapphic romance about a girl who gets a, who is a wedding photographer and she gets asked to shoot the photos at her sister's wedding. Um, it is her stepsister and they don't get along. That's why I did the quotes. But uh, <laughs> she falls in love with her stepsister's best friend and real struggles happen. So I, I really enjoyed that one, really liked it. I guess I liked all of these books because otherwise they wouldn't make the list. And then the next book I also couldn't shut up about is the Mindfuck series by S.T. Abbey. I devoured this book. Um, it was so good. I do agree that with people that it isn't like the most incredible writing ever, but the story is just so compelling. It's so good. It is about a female serial killer who falls in love with an FBI agent and that FBI agent happens to be studying her case. So yeah, it is five books in one and it is dark. It's really dark. Uh, there are a lot of trigger warnings. So for all of the books I mention, please always check if there are some trigger warnings because you got to keep your mind safe, you know. Then the next book I have is The Assassin's Blade by Sarah J. Maas. I only want, I could have put more books of this series in here, but I didn't want to. I only wanted to do one book per series. This is from the Tone of Glass series, and this was the first book I read. It It is, ooh, was it four short stories, I think, um, where you follow Selena. Uh, who's going on adventures and quests and um, I'm not done with the series. I have two books left, but this book was just amazing. Uh, I also have a 24 hour reading vlog, I think, about, about this one. I will link it up for you. Then I have such, such a cozy read that took me by surprise and that is Cackle by Rachel Harrison. Her boyfriend has broken up with her and she uh, can't afford it to stay in New York. So she moves to a small town where she becomes uh, a teacher. She has a te teacher job there. And she meets a woman who is very nice, but also strange things are happening. There were so many great lessons in this book and it was such a cozy read. It was, I read this one in October. It was just perfect. I liked it so much. It was, it's, it's insane. And I can't wait to read Such Sharp Teeth by Rachel Harrison. Uh, I hope I'll just love it as much as I did this one, but yeah. 
if you haven't read it, please read it. But I suggest you wait until October because that was just magical. And then another book that I also read in October and that is Fangs by Sarah Anderson. I was really doubting to put this one on my top 30 mainly because it is a graphic novel and it is really short. I read this one in, what was it, 15 minutes? Also have a vlog on this one. But it was just amazing and it uh, is about a vampire and a werewolf who start a relation and I had to laugh so much. It was so funny and it's also, f it's, it's just a very pretty book. And every time I'm down, I just read this one and I'm smiling again. So that's why it made the list. Then the next one is also not the first book in a series and that is The Emperor of Evening Stars. This is the 2.5 book in the Bargainer series and this is a novella done right. This it is only how many pages? It's only 206 pages and I every page was filled with stuff I wanted to know and everything was as important to the story as in the other books. It was just so incredible and uh, in January we're uh, Ellie is doing a read-along of the Wagner series. So yeah, I can't wait to read this one again in March. Then the next book was also a very cozy, very reading at the right time, at the right moment book for me. And that is Long Live the Pumpkin Queen by Shay Earnshaw. This uh, follows the story of Sally from uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. And it was just perfect. The vibes were immaculate uh, <laughs> it was it was it was just a great continuation and also um i was in a musical based on the story and i maybe for christmas so that also added a little bit uh, to it but it was just amazing and if you like the story uh i suggest you pick this one up then the next book i never would have thought uh, would be on this list and that's Siege and Storm by Lee Bardugo and I think the only reason this is on the list is because of the reading experience I had with it I read this book in the month of December I would wake up in the morning I would uh, grab myself something to drink I would sit on this couch behind me turn on all the Christmas lights and start reading it and I do think it is a great story I really think so but the vibes that uh i just had with it were just incredible amazing i would feel so good in the morning um so yeah i just i just couldn't keep this one off the list so i had i had to add it the first book being a uh, shadow and bone of course everyone knows it and then we have from blood and blood oh my god are you kidding me stop making coffee <laughs> In the prullenbak? Ja, die zit helemaal goed. Oh, dan moet je hem er even uithalen en een nieuwe erin doen. Then we have From Blood and Ash by Jennifer L. Armentrout. This book was, I think, my... Uh, I think this was... I think this was my first five stars of the year, but I could be wrong. But um, this book, it was such an amazing ride to read it. It was so tense and very steamy at some point. But um, I'm rereading this book this month and I'm incredibly happy about that because it, it is just such an amazing book. It is about a girl named Poppy uh, who um, has been raised in... Solitude? Is that what you call it? Sol solitary. She has the life of the maiden in solitary, never to be touched, never to be looked upon, never to be spoken, never to experience pleasure. Well, I can tell you someone comes along who um, may change all those things. And then the last book is also not uh, the first one in a series and that is Their Vicious Darling by Nikki St. Crow. This is the third book 
in the in the the fish's last boys the first book is the never king and then the second one is a dark one and now it's uh, their fish's darling this is a dark romance uh retelling of peter pan and it's also reverse harem so you know you have to know that before going into it but i like this one so much and i thought this was going to be the last book but it isn't there's a fourth one coming and i can wait for it and also the first one is almost entirely smut but as the books go on there is more plot with every book and it's just incredible so uh, i highly suggest you read it and then i thought that was the last one but there is one book on this list that i do not own physically and i'm really angry about that because i really want the book but i i forget it the entire time to buy it because i already read it but that is sea of ruin by pam godwin this is a pirate book about a girl who has a pirate as a father but unfortunately uh, her father and her mother both uh, die uh, and she decides to follow his footsteps and she falls in love with not only one but maybe two people and one of them may be uh, someone who hates pirates or does he yeah it is also a very very dark book so do read uh, the trigger warnings but i just highly suggest you read it so those were my 13 favorite books of 2022 uh, i loved each one of them uh, but those were my 13 favorite books of 2022 I love them all and they are just incredible so uh, if you want to know more about any of these books please just leave a comment down below uh, and I will be happy to answer it and I'll see you in the next one Doei!